And this ain't funny, Lil. We brought you up to tell the truth. Maybe you can stop kicking off and let her speak. She lied about falling down an entire flight of stairs, Stace. You got an ambulance out. What, now you want to reward her for attention-seeking, dear? No, I'm going to be her mum, Martin, while I can. I thought you looked all stopped fighting. I wanted to make the judge feel sorry for you. I thought Ruby might feel sorry for you. I'm sorry. I, I can go say sorry to the ambulance men. I'm asking you to do that, Lil. I want you to go, Mum. I don't want to leave you, darling. Please do something, Dad. Lily's too young for this kind of stress. I mean, this is breaking her heart. This little girl crying because her mum leaving her. God knows how the other kids are going to cope. No, none of this is their fault. No. No, it's Stacey's. Yeah. Well, I think we forgot what our priority is. My priority. I mean, you're too wrapped up in fighting each other, and it takes a ten-year-old to point it out. This should be about what is best for the kids. Yeah. Yes, of course it should. But nothing's going to bring our baby back. And that includes pointing the finger, which is why I tried to withdraw my complaint. What? I didn't want you to think I was letting our baby down, but Jean was so desperate. So I went to the police, but they won't listen. I did not lie. I did not exaggerate what Stacy did to me, but I still wouldn't wish this on her. Even after everything. You never let me down. You're the best wife I've ever had. Mm. Yeah, I know that. If you're really worried about Lily, there is something we could do. <laughs> 